Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Sport Federation TV. I'm Lindyuk Tichetti and once again I'll be your host. Uh, this show is proudly brought to you by Western Cape Provincial Sports Con Confederation in association with our proud sponsor Bashers. Once again tonight you'll get an opportunity to win a case of assorted Bashers drinks, Cape Town's favorite cool drink. So make sure you keep your cell phone ready for that announcement. Tonight, just like all the other previous shows, we'll be showcasing a variety of amazing sports in the Western Cape. We'll be talking baseball, karate, sailing, and also we'll be taking a look at some footage from the recent National Youth Championships in fly fishing. Joining me first, all the way from the Cape Winelands, representing baseball, we have Jacques Lievendal and A.V. Debrain. Welcome, gentlemen. Welcome, oh, thank you. Well, uh, A.V., you've been here before and it's nice to have you back. I understand there's been some new developments in the world of baseball in Cape Winelands. Let's start off with your specific roles in the sport. Ja, ik is eigenlijk als ik uh, die voorzitter van die Cape Wildlands uh, Baseball Federatie. Mijn eerste keer, uh, uh, een nieuwe, nieuwe code, wat in ik heel snaaks is voor mij, maar ik is zo om ons kunnen stofferen in woorden. Lovely. En jou, A.V.? Ja, dat is een long story, zal ik het met short. Ik ben in Rolf in baseball voor meer dan 20 jaar. En uh, mainly in het begin to look after schools baseball and later on I switch over to club baseball. But currently club and uh, school baseball in the Cape Islands area. All right. And Jacques, being the chairperson of any federation is a huge responsibility. The buck Sorry. stops with you and you have to ultimately take responsibility for all the decision making. How, what inspired you to avail yourself for this job? Because you are a volunteer, right? Ja, kijk, als, als ouder het ik begin hier um, met mijn ziens op te, om, om meer betrokken te raken met die baseball. En daar vanaf het ik begin te voel, um, ik zou moeten opstaan in deelvorm van, uh, om een succes te maken van baseball en um, die woeste. So, uh, dat is mij hoe ik het uh, eigenlijk voel. Okay, lovely. And uh, you've got a, I, I suppose you have quite a, a strong team. That is correct, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how big is baseball in the Cape Winelands? Big, if you talk about the totals, we are scratching the, the thousand uh, member mark. That includes from the age of eight years to until 35, uh, 45, mm. all of us, parents included. Okay. So just over a thousand uh, uh, people that belongs to the, the baseball in Cape Winelands. Just in, just in the Cape Winelands? Just in Cape Winelands, yes. That's impressive. How does it compare with the rest of the province? Right, if it said province, then we talk about the whole of, of Western the Cape, Western yes. Cape. I, I would think an Eden boat like this, but uh, I think we are second. Western Poros, talk Cape Town, they are the guys at the top. Yes. And they are second, but uh, a lower a lower second. Well, I guess you can attribute that to the marketing and the development projects you have in the area, hey? A, a lot of things, yes, that what you have mentioned is, is correct. Also, there's facilities, and uh, at the end of the day, money. Mm. More adults who have been playing baseball is now in the baseball in the, in the in this area, mm. while at our in our case, they normally leave the town to seek work in another place. So yeah. How do you go about with talent identification? We have a special day set out for them uh, because they play tee ball. Mm. It means hitting the the ball from a tee. Now uh, normally the end of starting of September, starts just starts before the yeah. season. Season starts in October. Mm. Just before the season, we have that, uh, that table uh, festival, you call it. Sometimes we invite clubs from Cape Town. Most of the time, it's our only kids. And that is how you see it. Because there are the basic things that a baseballer need to do. He must, he must be able to run, but be able to catch a ball and throw a ball and hit a ball. Mm. And table is about that. Mm. And that is why we pick up our, uh, look, look this one. 
see this one yeah uh, and that is a start of the talent identification yeah so you i mean with with this massive membership and um, and your talent identification processes and stuff you've got to have a technical team in place how do you make sure that they're on par with the latest developments but city let me just get get to that 1000 not all of them is ex active every day mm. but on our record we have them mm. how do we make sure that uh, that our uh, our technical staff Every year we have uh, capacity building workshops for the scorers, empires, uh, coaches, coaches, yeah. Then also for the the managers of the teams, and also for the clubs uh, uh, executives. Once a year we have that one, and then and then in the meantime we also uh, came to Cape Town. If they have a, a workshop here, coaching, more most of the time coaching. While we're sitting here, there's a scoring clinic and somewhere in Cape Town, but we won't be here tonight. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, uh, how we make sure that our guys stay on top by, by having our own set of, of uh, capacity building workshops and then also joining in with uh, Cape Town when they have uh, their sessions. We normally join them so that we can, because they are at, at, at a higher league as us, mm. so we can also learn from them uh, what kind of challenges are you experiencing at the moment if any the most gedeelte around the challenge is my net eigenlijk around um performing but also deal form van on challenge cup in a normal way as it my net the gedeelte around um fjalde what is nie het nie en dan die volgende gedeelte is my gewoonlik maar net die binnen bedrijfgede rondom ons um, areas waar ons play. Dat is ook dit is die challenges wat ons moet sorteer mm. maak. So. Mm. Um, you you also mentioned uh, you've mentioned the training programs and you've mentioned funding. Is baseball an expensive sport to participate in? Van my own funding rondom dat is dat is redelijk daar vervoer ten alle tye betrokke waar kinders moet vervoer raak. Of ons nou plaaslik is, daar is vervoer, daar moet vervoer wees. Uh, equipments is redelijk dier. As ek uh, rondom my kennis, wat ek my sien uh, oor steer gesteed, is, daar, is, het, is het een dier sport. My gevoel, baie dier. Ok, so the, the, you need sponsors to get involved. Not only that uh, the kids can participate without the stress of having the equipment, but also that you can ensure their safety, hey, right, when yeah. they come for programs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Jacques, you're the new chairman of uh, Cape Winelands Baseball. What is your vision f in, your, in the period for which you will preside? My vision is actually not to make Cape Winelands the best system. Not just to make the game, but to make the strength of the committees, the workshop committee leaders. I want to make the coaches versterk dan al een beter raak. Ik wil graag die scorekeepers, um, uh, catches, daar moet redelijk goede umpires, goede scorers, goede coaches wees voor mij om die kinders verder te vatten rondom dit. En um, ik denk ons kan het maken met die alle onderhoudse zo'n steen om het recht te kunnen krijgen. En alle kinders, net van een lachend speel, gaan ons het recht krijgen. Wonderful. Well, you've got a, a strong comrade in, uh, in, in AB. I wish you all the best with your plans and your wishes and your goals for the children of Cape Winelands that are playing baseball. And I hope you'll come back and give us news of all the developments that's happening in the area. Thank you. I'll do that. Okay. Um, and that's it from baseball. After the break, we'll be taking a look at another amazing sport. So please stay tuned for that.